The Play Versus Fall 2020 High School Championship would not be possible without some of our sponsors. The Play Versus Fall 2020 CIF Esports Initiative Championship is presented by Omen, NVIDIA, HyperX, and the United States Marine Corps. First of all, Omen. The CIF Esports Initiative Championship are presented by Omen and NVIDIA. Professional-grade Omen gaming PCs with NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics help players take their game to the next level. Visit hp.com slash go slash esports for more information and special education pricing. Omen and NVIDIA are proud to support the CIF Esports Initiative. Elevate your game with the groundbreaking gameplay and powerful accessories that Omen provides. New Omen PCs powered by NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics make it easy to win now and upgrade later to always stay on top of your game. For more information, visit omen.com. HyperX. This message is brought to you by HyperX, the official gaming sponsor of Juju Smith-Schuster, Gordon Hayward, and Valkyrie. HyperX has a gaming peripherals ranging from headsets to keyboards to consoles to controllers and chargers. No matter how you game, where you game, or what you game, we have something for you. Use promo code HXCIF, that's HXCIF, to get up to 30% off of selective HyperX products. Terms and conditions may apply. U.S. Marine Corps. To those of you who fight and win battles every day in and out of the arena, show the Marines your fighting spirit and take what's inside you to the next level. To find out more, call 1-800-MARINES, that's 1-800-MARINES, or go to marines.com. The arena may change, the fight may change, but the passion and the will to preserve will always prevail. Do you have what it takes to earn the title of a United States Marine? Call or learn more online today at 1-800-MARINES, that's 1-800-MARINES, or marines.com. Thank you to all of our sponsors for helping to put on this amazing special. And finally, it's Data Impressions. Data Impressions is paving the way for esports in California high schools. From PCs and peripherals to esports classroom design, let Data Impressions help your school. Visit us today at dataimpressions.com slash esports for the latest in technology and tournament services. Data Impressions, the official technology and solutions provider of the CIF Esports Initiative. We thank all of our sponsors for helping us to provide uh, some ad, some revenue, some opportunities for a lot of these young players. These are, are things that the players are not only fighting for. Obviously, you want to make your way through a bracket, get a chance to win. How many how many you know opportunities and dollars and scholarships, et cetera, et cetera. You get scouted, but none of this is possible without sponsors. Sponsors are what fuel esports, and we thank all of the sponsors who have have come together to put on this play versus twelve fall twenty twenty high school championship. So. Brody, uh, with all these sponsors on the line and a lot of these young players looking for this to be their future, their competitive future in a game like Rocket League, it's it's awesome to have people like HyperX who provide a lot of the equipment, people like Omen who can provide uh, sponsorships and partnerships with NVIDIA with all the new graphics cards coming out so you can upgrade your setup and play Rocket League on the best settings. And as well, the Marine Corps for always being here and doing their duty, and we thank all those who currently serve. So, uh, Brody, our matchup now is our second to last uh Best of seven of the day. We have California coming up. Uh, Los Alamitos versus St. John Bosco High School. And uh, I got to tell you, I am excited to see the Californians come out and play some Rocket League. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. We're winding our down our stream now as we come to our final two matches. And we go over towards California for this one. Yeah. The penultimate match of the day, Los Ali Sports versus St. John Boseo. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. I'm not American, for heaven's sake. All right. You know, okay. there's in, in Britain we have we have places that uh, end with Ford. And that is that is essentially all we have and done and stuff like that. <laughs> um anyway. My sure. apologies. Yeah, Sorry, fine. I had to go. I had to go on a British rant. We have to do that. Sure. I'm excited to get into some Rocket League because let's um, do it. It's go. so good. I mean, today has just been filled with some excellent games. We've had six matches thus far. It's time for our final two. I believe mm -hmm. game one between these guys is ready and raro to go. For those of you unfamiliar with the format, maybe this is your first time hopping into the Play versus Fall 2020 High School Championship. These are best of seven matches. So, first of four takes home. Well, I guess the match. And trying to stay awake. I was going to say excellent analysis, there, there, it, dude. It's it's half for eleven over here. I'm I'm, yeah. <laughs> my brain is uh, my fuzzled out. But regardless, you know, whatever this matchup they go through in this tournament, they represent California in our final play. And again, we only have one more match to go after this. So two best of sevens left, and we will know every representative of all the regions that have competed in the play versus fall 2020 Rocket League Championship. Remember, if you want to sign up for the spring circuit. Chances are now live. Go ahead and sign up online. Play Versus wants you to compete and wants you to get your name out there because you could become the next Justin. You could become uh, the next one to Mike. Uh, it, you know, it, it, depends. it depends on who you want to be 
Let's pick Demo in the corner. The plastic will take out uh, Kiwical. I said that right. Kiwi Call. Kiwi Call. There's a lot of names. And my brain can run on so many continents at a time. Let's keep going. 358, about a minute gone here. No one scored. And, uh, you know, these early game sort of, I guess, lock up, if you will. It's uh, quite regular, actually, I think, from what we've seen in day number one and day number two, where these guys, teams kind of just, do, they get a feel for each other, right? You know, they don't want to overextend before they, if they fall into a, chat, a trap, right? I mean, they uh, just don't want to go overzealous. I, and that's the best way to go about the first minute of play, at least, between these sure. two. But you're going to start to see things ramp up very soon between these two teams. I think John Bosco and LaSalle Esports go head to head. Look, oh, now looking for it. Walrus going to go high here. This is an attempt to get away from your own heart. It's going to go high. Clear Classic looking to do something with it. Absolutely cannot find it. About to come through. This is uh, Lasal Esports desperately trying to get this ball away. After Shock's demo, that's definitely going to help. Coming up next, Coastal Region it's West Valley High School versus West Anchorage High School. So, all the Wests will be competing for their chance to represent the Coastal Region. So we continue on with California as Huey, which I will now call him. Into the corner we go. Classic. Going to send it back the other way. And well, here comes Volleyball once again. That one's going to get bullied into the side. Walrus trying to slow it down. And there is going to be a shot saved away. No goal yet here in game one for either team. Yeah, Classical doing a really great job there of making sure that ball doesn't go into net. After shot extends it just a little bit over. That's unfortunate there because Walrus was ready for that. Now Kirkle. Cool. Gonna have to go off the wall. That doesn't work out. Clear Classic gets the ball in the blue half and a few misses early on here between these two teams. That's been really presenting themselves, but both teams, I think, in two situations haven't been as accurate as they maybe would like. And almost for a second there, we see the ball roll into the blue net. That's not to be the case. It's a slout. Gonna have a uh, moment to relax. Still 0-0, zero, zero, two minutes left on the clock. Certainly, this game might be a 1-0 if it continues the way it has. Babs, I love that name. I'm going to try to send this one out. And go back into the left patch of the blue side. A little long distance clears, but you know, you know, neither team has really established a rhythm in these lower thirds. It's kind of been, I'm going to take the ball up, I'm going to get a chance to go for a hit, and I'm going to try to get a second touch. This, this, that, this, that, this, that. Back and forth we go. About 80 or so seconds still in this game. But, uh, you know, we've only seen one or two shots. I mean, lost 68 points, no goals, no nothing through the saves. On the other side, Walrus, no goals, nothing through the saves. Only one shot for Bab. It's a very slow, quiet game for both teams. One minute left on the clock now for something to change here, as you say. Slow, quiet game of Rocket League between these two. Hasn't been that eventful. A few chances really on both sides. But nothing crazy. Nothing to make us gasp hit on the casting desk. Maybe this is it though. Babs goes through. Walrus meets it high though. And this could be the pass. Babs going for a second attempt. Kiracle though. In with the denial. The first potential real chance here from the Sally Sport. Thank John Bosco. They deny it. Babs going again. Kiracle. Meets and wins the 50. Now on the defense, St. John Bosco looking to get this ball away. Just 20 seconds before we hit OT. Lasalle Esports looking to push the issue. But this is so back and forth between these two teams, Sean. Didn't Can't take see one much goal. changing. Yeah, no, that might be I, it. I agree. Oh, shock. There boy. We're going to go to OT. L touch. You go to OT, no one's able to score. And both teams at the moment, they're just playing so reserved in yeah. terms of their play. Now, we, we've seen a couple of outreaches, like specifically pulling up Babs with St. John Bosco. They've uh, really gone for it a couple of times. So it just hasn't equated to a goal just yet. And now we see LaSalle Sports re the issue after shot, goes for it. A third attempt, third time lucky here for LaSalle Sports. It takes 17 seconds of overtime. You see that uh, quick miracle comes in, drops it down to Aftershock. She was ready for the follow-up. And Lasalle Sports, as I said, 17 seconds of overtime is all it takes 
as they take a one zero series advantage. And I don't know if we got a lot of shots off from either side in that game, but uh, really, I mean, look, four shots, four yeah. shots to one. And, and and it's not like, oh my God, the, the difference. It's very much, you only have four shots. So mm -hmm. it, it, you had one shot uh, for St. John Bosco High School. That's not, that's not a lot. You can't do much with one shot. You got to convert it. Uh, luckily in this series so far, had they actually made that, it would have been a 1-0 win. But, you know, not a lot to talk about. Uh, that was a back and forth game. It, it was a lot like what we saw with Colorado, but less less dynamic in terms of talent wise on the field off the start. It was very much just like collectively, everyone brought the ball up and then we kind of stalled out. Then we went back the other way. We kind of stalled out. We went back the other way and kind of stalled out. So just back and forth, back and forth. Let's get into game number two of this best of seven. And let's see if Los uh, Alamito Let's see if they can, uh, you know, uh, take this 2-0 or if we're going to see a tie Ooh. series here. Okay, right off the start. Fair classic. They have tied their, the their shots from game one. So they're doing good. <laughs> uh, good start here for a St. John Bosco. Of course, now 1-0 down in this matchup. Kiwakul looking for the play. Fabs is going to come in for a save. A mirror of what happened in game number one, where it seemed like those two were going at it a couple of times in front of the goal. Here we call though. Looking for this. Good passing from St. John Bosco. Fear Classic going to be responsible for that one. Gets a pass, boss. This is possible now. Fabs has a reply. And for St. John Bosco, you just got to get this ball away. You do not want to give this to Kill Call. That was a bad play, but it doesn't matter anyway. Actually, Fabs does win the 50, so not as bad as I initially thought. But the pressure mounting here from Lasali Sports. St. John Bosco. Oh, okay. Some aggression on that ball. Unfortunately, there's a player in goal to meet it. I don't want to ricochet off the backboard. Anyone there? They might have had a chance to at least put one on target. We circle back around. Some empty chances now. Still out of midfield, surely. Babs going to center. Anyone else is going to cross? No? Okay. We'll take it back out to midfield. The extension comes out after shock. We'll lose the battle. Well, there's a one on net. And Kiwikul. I don't think I'm saying that right. Kiwi, doesn't matter. 1-0 lead. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on calling Ki Killer Kiwikul. Kill so you have the British accent, know. so it sounds good. When I say Kiwikul, yeah. it sounds well, like I'm having a stroke. Well, I have the British accent, so I make everything sound good. Um, yeah. I have a good British accent as well. None of those, none of the North, Newcastle ones or anything like that. You know, the bad ones. <laughs> um, St. John Bosco, though. Already 1-0 down in this one. Sally Sports starts strong here. Mm. And... Uh, St. John Bosco. They have been getting chances, and I think that that's the key thing to note here, is that they have been chances. It's just getting that third player into the box to make a finish happen. That's, I think, been their biggest stress. There's uh, three minutes now left on this game clock. The Sally Sports. Still the lead. I'm getting these chances to get taken away. Putting a lot of pressure past midfield. That one across. Who's going to be there after a shot coming in? That's a... Ooh, thought it was going to be a goal for a minute. It was on target, but I think it got redirected down to the right. I'm going to burn time for low salve on the other side. You're, you're, you're hunting and fighting that first goal. Hanging on by the skin of your teeth. I know it's been back and forth, but still, it has not been going your way. A bit of a cluster on the sidewall. Two players running into each other. Leave weight, and uh, you kind of give it right back to the offense. So they bring this ball around. They don't clear it, and then Aftershock wins a big 50. And Kiwi just comes up and says, hey, I'll take it. I don't think neither Fear Classic nor Boss were expecting that, to be mm -hmm. honest. It was the 50 that really changed everything, and then the pace at which that ball came to them after the 50 really did, as you say, change everything for St. John Bosco. But Sally Sports looking good here in this one. Kirikul with both goals to their name. I was trying to get this away. It would have been a nice little passing play. Fortunately, it ends in Walrus scoring with Sally Sports making this situation worse for St. John Bosco. Yeah, they're just controlling the field right now. It's as simple as that. Walrus, recovery on the play. A little fadeaway shot. Able to get the front of his bumper on that car. So, or in front of his bumper on the ball. There we go. 3 out. 2 13 to play. And at this moment, it's about to be 4 out. That's good. Walrus off the kickoff. And I think it's safe to say game two might be locked up. Yep, Walrus right off the start here. I mean, look, there's still two minutes, ten left in this game. As, as we always say, disclaimer really for us on the desk to not get absolutely 
uh, roughed on. I don't know the old word. I'm Body slammed by our lack of yes coherent uh, prediction. Of, yeah. yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, disclaimer here. There is still two minutes left in this game, and a lot can happen in two minutes. I've had games of Rocket League, albeit, you know, probably a lower rank than this, where I was, what, six, seven nil down and mm. somehow managed to come back. I know that's, you know, it, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> Who are you right? playing? I understand that. <laughs> well, you know, I might have been on a Smurf, but. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I know that's Smurf. I'm just playing I'm all the grand champs. Name. I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's yeah, that talented, great. but there's their first gold. Your classic. Got a fly effect. 4 1, so entirely possible. challenge yeah that's pretty good boss uh, was going to put it in regardless if it didn't go in from fear classic so saint john bosco they find their first goal here one minute 40 left on the clock this is still possible there's still time to find those three but they need to make sure they do not concede to LaSalle. absolutely a little flip there and again the more pressure you put on it just kind of burns time again three goals to give i've seen my fair share of rocket league throughout the years and this is quite a tall order. Entirely winnable, but uh, got to score relatively quickly. It's a race against the clock. Hume's day is ticking down. 4-1. Minute to go. We take it off the sidewall to midfield. That one's on target. Anyone there? We'll get there in time for a classic with a save. We've got the epic save as well. For classic extending. Back down. Through the corner we go. And it looks like we might stall out. So uh, we're running a bit of time. Trying to get this play developed, and the problem is that they have killed about 30, 40 seconds off the clock. And you're getting towards that part where game two is slowly being put out of reach. Three goals needed. And you just can't find anything. And it's hard enough to break a defense like this anyway, right? Because I think LaSalle are actually doing a really good job on the defense at the mm -hmm. moment. Um, uh -oh. When there's 30 seconds left, it's very hard. That's surely Ooh. go. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I think Fear Classic in that situation was just hoping that Walrus did not take that route. And uh, unfortunately, in, in the, uh, one place you do not want that ball to go, it goes. And uh, of course, now with 17 seconds, we can call this one short of a miracle. This is game number two to LaSalle. Yep, they'll be up 2-0 in the series and cl uh, uh, slowly getting to <laughs> a serious point as they would be looking for a game three win. But on the other side, uh, Bosco showing a resolve and resilience. But when it came to actually scoring, that is essentially what decides your fate in Rocket League and at the moment. Uh, they are down 3-0, excuse me, 2-0, apologies. They are down 2-0, and going into game three, that's what I was thinking, uh, they need to, you know, I hate saying this as simple as it is, but they need to score. As simple as that, they had five shots in general, but no assists, you know, no, no real infield passing other than towards the end when they got close to actually scoring their second goal. But uh, Brody, they just gotta score. You, you just gotta be able to. You gotta be able to score because if if you're gonna have to outscore your opponents uh, who are scoring four goals, it's gonna be a difficult time. Yeah, it's not just the scoring as well, right? You're rightly pointing out the fact they had five shots. That isn't that many chances when you compare it to what the other team had, which was, I think, 10, 10 yeah. or 11 shots they ended up with. Um, quite, quite simply, they don't have control of the play enough. Um, you know, they need to space themselves out a little bit more um, and get, I think, get more aggressive in this scenario. That might sound like a really simple Brody, Brody line analysis of what's about to happen. Um, but but oh, yeah. realistically speaking, I, I think at the moment, they're allowing Losal to just dictate the play pretty consistently they're constantly being hammered down um, and it results in a score line like that doesn't help when uh, Kiwakul is doing so well um, but we shall see whether or not they're able to change things up we have game three ready and raring to go the Sally Sports 2-0 up in this one remember folks they just need to win two more and they find their way through to the championship run. well at this moment it's uh, again no cast or curse implied but is seeing how we, we've watched many matches this weekend. I think the momentum is on their side. If they are able to to take this game, we will see a 4-0 sweep, I, I wholeheartedly believe. But for St. John Bosco, all it takes is one or two chances, right? I mean, we saw a match earlier where uh, uh, Colorado, right? Rocky Mountain and Valor Christian. Uh, Valor Christian was up 2-0, and then Rocky Mountain bounced back, fight, fought, fought back. That's the past tense. And uh, they were able to take it to a game seven to win it. So you never know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they free one up as well, Bala Christine, in that one. Yeah. So uh, it really does just go to show that when you are down, as long as you keep your head in the game, you should be fine. Mm. Oh, big classic. That's mint, that is. Just brings it down, carries it across the field. It's unfortunate that it doesn't equate to a goal because it would have been a beautiful one. The ground pinch almost worked out. 
I think that would be the first time we saw that today, actually. Uh, translating to a goal. Almost. Demo in front of the line. And they'll swing this one back down. Recovery play there for Kiwis. So brilliant. Coming back down with it. There's a goal. And it equates to a positive result as he had just found a way to come back from midfield, set it up off the backboard, and takes that off a waterfall. Brilliantly played from Kira Call to actually uh, be able to adjust to the rate that ball falls as well. That's so fast. Mm -hmm. Okay, to get that right. Brilliantly played from Kira Call, especially considering he didn't really hesitate on the play whatsoever. And now, however great of a start St. John Bosco had, because it let it be known they, they did, to be fair. They were the aggressors for the first minute or so. Sure. Very quickly does the tie change for Sally Sports. Now 1 0 up off the back of, surprise, surprise, a Kira Call goal. Pressing me so far, that player. Airing it out. Let's pass it up to a teammate. 3.13 to go. As time starts to take down, we enter halftime in game three. Winner of this once again depends. If Low Sal are able to take it, they're up 3-0 in the series. That might be serious point or, or you know, closing the door on what would, it, what would be a comeback. For St. John Bosco, they desperately need this game to stay alive in it. I'm not saying the 3-0 comeback is impossible, but my god, it would be a, a feat of the ages of how this series has gone thus far. They have been trying to orchestrate some offense. That was the best look they've had in a while. And the epic save for Kiwi and gets it out. Kiwi saves this from being a 1-1 game. <clears throat> he even then follows up with a shot of his own. So really well played there from Kiwi. Not surprising again that they're constantly on the play. Kiwi looking for this. Backs it to middle. Walrus is there for the receive. Unfortunately, needs Aftershock to close it out and almost does. A little touch from Babs. Comes in for the deny. It would have been 2 0 and it was a lovely team play. But nonetheless, Boss is able to turn this entire situation on its head. And uh, rightfully so as well. That was a huge commit from the Sally Sports. Uh, a counter attack, unsurprising. Yeah, they needed that counterattack desperately. Sometimes the hardest goal to get is the first one. Doesn't matter when you get it. Just got to get on the board. And finally, they do it. There you go. 1-1. One, one. So many times we sit in this position with, with so much left to play where you're wondering, when's the next goal going to strike? And sometimes all it takes is one small gap. It doesn't have to be a defensive breakdown, but they just get lucky with a hit like this could have been. But we clear it out to midfield. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Oh, uh oh, no, no one's uh -oh. there. Boss, you could get this. Oh! <laughs> if he cuts sooner, maybe. Maybe if he cuts sooner. I think because he recognizes it about here. And if he cuts a little bit sooner, he probably wouldn't have saved it. He might have had a chance, but at that moment, the ball was so far ahead. There's like It doesn't matter if you're going full boost in your car. You will not catch up to the ball. You just can't. So uh, it's, it's hard to watch. And mistake positioning there as well. I mean, that's only one way that can happen, which is a case of you didn't have a player back ready for yep. that kind of shot. So mistake positioning coming in from St. John Bosco. It cost them, well, at least the tie that they did have in this one. Asali Sports once again in the lead. Aftershock flicks the ball into box at least and uh -oh. hey there it is again okay never mind I thought for a second that Aftershock I thought for a second that Aftershock wasn't on the defense I thought hey look it's the uh, same over aggression we saw from the Sally Sports that forced them to lose goal number one but luckily they seem to have learned their lesson Aftershock was back and now 60 seconds on the clock St. John Bosco they need to open up more space like they did just previously yeah, most of the time when you get a long clear goal, the other team usually starts to turtle up a little bit because they don't want the same thing to happen to them. That's a waterfall, dangerous as it might be. No one's there to follow up. And the second touch a little bit too high. Slow down goal, tie game, 2-2. Finally, the infield passing opens up and the 1-2-3 punch from everyone getting involved in the play. There you go. That's what happens when you play as a team, of course. So as we always say, it is a very big risk when you do go for plays like that because you may find yourself if the ball does get sent to your own half, that you don't have anyone back to deal with it. And that has been the case a couple of times here, but not this time around. John St. John Bosco doing great in this situation. Oh, okay, oh, oh. Trying for a reply. I was concerned for a second that Boss would uh, somehow slip up and not reach it, but they do. St. John Bosco with 28 seconds left here. Looking pretty good to force this overtime. 
Certainly are. And what an overtime it might be. However, that one's on target. Cross was there. And all of a sudden, the pressure's starting to build in the blue half. They're putting a lot of resources here. Applying the pressure, flip reset just off target by a hair. That would have been the game. That could have been the series to bring them back in. We go to OT. He had the flip reset on an open net. He got it, but it was literally an inch too far to the right. Oh, that's pain. Ugh. Pain indeed. All they know is pain at this point. Could have uh, not seen an overtime, but alas, this is where we're at. And maybe a very quick overtime as well. Fear Classic tries for it. Kiwakul comes in with the clinical save. Still more work to be done, though, for LaSalle Sports here. They make their way forward. St. John Bosco. Uh-oh. Have a player back, and Kiwakul. Oh, Three my gets God. the second tap as well. Not only that as well, but gets it past Boss. Look at this play. Kiwakul follows it up. He could... It's like a targeting system. You oh, can see my God. Him readying for a slight flick that Fear Classic wasn't ready for and then beats Boss to the ball. Mm. And Kiwakul in the chat, he says it. Get wrecked, bro. And uh, we felt that, Kiwakul. We felt that. <laughs> He's turbo flick. Unbelievable. Well, uh, it's a 3-0 lead at the moment. And uh, yeah, most importantly, that was very much a turbo flick. Very, very nice. Very nice. I love to see that. But, um, you know, that was... Again, how we saw last series in Bostonator and Vigil, uh, uh, Kiwi is just, just doing his thing. He's just doing his thing, which means we're going to game four. They're up 3-0, Brody. And uh, if he keeps playing like that, this is going to be a 4-0. I'm just telling you right now. This is going to be a quick series. So. You're, you're not wrong. You're, you're absolutely not wrong. I, I think, to be honest, uh, there's only so much you can say when it's, ju it's just Kiwi Cool. That's the analysis we're providing, folks. It's Kiwakul. He is clinical. He's doing so so much effort uh, for this LaSalle Esports team. And I'm excited to see how he closes out the series. If they can close it out in four, let's find out. Let's jump into game number four here between LaSalle Esports and St. John Bosco. One more shot. Like that, dude. You shoot like yeah, that, I'm yeah. like, get out of my way. And he almost had a goal there as well if he doesn't get bumped as well. Well, we'll see here. Is, uh, okay. Oh god! Whoa. Oh god! Whoa. Whoa. Oh god! I did not. I, I in think. A million years I that think. Was going in. I think they might have got caught up on the sidewall. I don't know. I need to see the replay. Let's have a look. No, oh, okay. no. He no, just had to no. turn around. Just took the long. He took the scenic route. In that situation, all you have to do is just jump back and then like flip backwards and then dash to the goal. You don't have to take the long. We route. say. We say on the cast and just, yeah, Listen. I mean, listen. This is my this. job. You just. You have to flip backwards. You don't have to take the long way around. But again, that's that's small. As soon as he turned into that into that uh, cycle, he knew that he lost the goal. Like as soon as you turn, you're like, that was the wrong way. That was the wrong way to move. 1-0 lead. And uh, again, now all the chips sit on the low south side of the field, for St. John Bosco desperately, desperately, desperately need to find a lead here. Absolutely. So now, St. John Bosco. Already 1-0 down in this one. We're all responsible for this. Oh, God, oh, pain. Okay, Kiwakul. And, uh, oh, oh, my, no. dude, this is not going their way. Do you know what's funny? Uh, that That is a gold banner, right? I'm not being stupid by saying that's a gold player banner. Kiwakul. It is. Yeah, he's not gold. <laughs> no, no, no chance. Zero chance, yeah. Zero chance. Zero chance. is a gold player. It's, it's kind of one of those uh, sort of psychological fakes. Like, you might think I am gold, but I am not gold. Brought to you by this desk. <laughs> this is oh, about to be a goal. 2-0. Uh, and again, it's uh, it's getting dangerous. We're, we're locked in an interesting rule one here. I, I've never seen a rule one from the side, but here we go. I'd love to hop on boat back over to that and see if they're still going. I have to imagine. I mean, at this point, uh, they broke it off. Okay, it's fine. At this point, if you're down two goals, you should just disengage from the rule one. There's no reason to be stuck in. That's about to be three goals. Oh, oh off the top. Okay. To bully away, but yeah, there's no reason to be locked with someone when you're down two goals. You better get out of that and uh, and try to help your team, which they do. Flip reset down. There is almost a goal off the top of the bar. Breakaway chance and aftershock just blew an open lead and net. Um, okay, so we had one goal on one side that should have happened. We have a breakaway chance on a fast break that doesn't happen, and Kiwi says, I'll take it, and he has two goals. Okay. This was just weird rocket for the past minute whatever <laughs> there's so much space there I'm, I'm watching this and it, it 
St. John Bosco are just not there. Okay, Babs is done. Ba Babs is gone. They've had enough. There's three minutes and 14 left on the clock. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know well. if this is... They, I'll presume that they just had to go... Uh, you know, they, they had to go get a takeaway and uh, it was ready to collect. <laughs> I hate you. Uh, I mean, look, it, it, we've seen... Oh, Polito's come in. Can, can you... I don't think you can sub mid-match. Well, they have Whatever. Sub, I Whatever. Presume, I, I don't care. They I, no, you can't. But I don't care. We just continue forward. Um, I know the I, I know the rules, but we'll, we'll just keep moving. Um, so yeah, three zero down. Uh, I I assume I assume maybe it was a tech issue. If that's the case, I, I hope it was obviously run by people who need to be in the know. But anyway, three zero lead. Uh, Low Sal have have three goals. I mean, what more do you want me to say? They have three goals, two minutes left at this point. What have we said the entire day? Four goals now. Kill time, and that's what they're gonna do. So uh, yeah, uh, Brody, this is gonna be a four zero sweep. Um, so we'll make sure we're all good and everything's okay. And uh, oh, yep, we're all good to go. Okay, so we, we have got confirmation that that was a legal move, which kind of whenever yeah, someone if, says something, if, it was a legal play. Kind of sounds like something like a chess or magic. <laughs> but, uh, if you if you so in order to pull that off in general, what you have to do is before the match starts, you have to run it by the admin. Just say hey, like if we need to pull a switch, can we? The only way, the only reason I said I don't think that's legal is because if you do that without informing an admin first before the match starts, I don't know if they'll allow you to just fill in another person. But uh, as I mean, look, I'm I'm going to assume, and I'm sure they did. They ran it by someone and said, "Hey, he might be having issues. If that's the case, oh. can we sub him out?" And he's joined back in. So yeah, I'm sure this was run by, and he will be spotted back in. So good for them for having the sub on spot. I believe uh, Polito will be subbed out. And uh, well, it, it it did his his presence or lack of didn't make much of a difference. It's five zero, and at the moment, Los Sal is just running away. Yeah, absolutely. Polito is actually still in for now, so we'll uh, get you guys an update on whether or not he does. I mean, you guys can see it on your screen whether or not he does stay in. Um, nonetheless, though, I mean, five to zero. I don't want to call it six zero. I call it. It's done. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll call it there. At four zero, Los Sal Sports. They come through as our. I want to say 14th team overall making it through from the let me do let me stages. count while you cast it right. was seven yesterday and this is our seventh match today so it is four, Five, six, seven, 14 i'm pretty sure 10, 10, 12. you can literally hear sean going through <laughs> numbers all the letters in the and, alphabet 14 uh, no this is not sean counting up 14 for the first time ever i know it might not be <laughs> but you might be surprised to hear that um, this game's done yeah, I mean, these guys are going to want to count 14 soon because uh, they're 7 0 up, 1 minute 52 left. If there was they ever. Maybe get 14 goals. If there was ever a time to have, like, a, 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 like, you know, like, everyone vote yes, we surrender moment, this would be it. Like, I just. It, it's getting out of hand. They are styling on them, they're they are confusing them. It is, uh. Yeah, it's. It's. It's looking dire. I think this one might be done. It's yeah, winnable. I, I, I don't yeah. know. It's been 30. It's winnable. Never mind. No one's in the back. Oh, Kiracle. Is he going to miss it? Oh, yeah. No, he doesn't. There it goes. Yeah, Walrus okay. has five goals just quietly, by the way. Yeah, Kiracle is insane. That's all I'm saying. Well, um, coming up next, we got uh, the coastal region, West Valley versus West. Right. So. What? Here's a dumb question in regards to the culture region that I know all the Americans are chatting hate for. West Anchorage. Fair enough. Is the I mean I I know the the answer is going to be on the coast or in the coast. Where on earth are the coastal regions in the U.S.? I like is this is this my dumb geography completely failing me right now? Is this something I should know? Where do you think they are? I want to ask you that first. Well, I presume they're on the coast, right? Huh? <laughs> for, for one, right? Okay. Yes. Uh, so, 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 where the heck are the coastal regions? Please do tell me. Uh, in general, they're on the coast. No, what? No, that's <laughs> that is. You gotta look it up, brother. I'm not gonna tell you. You're really gonna make me. Uh, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you learn some stuff today. This. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Google it. Yeah, I'm gonna make you learn some stuff today. Well, Google I don't is want to a say verb. Google. Yeah. We, we don't want to use specific brands here. You know, I could have been a big Google is a verb. It's not. A, it's, it doesn't matter. It's a verb. It's literally an English dictionary. I can use it. All Google. right. All right. Yeah. You're you're absolutely correct. Google it. That Actually, it's alpha. I will Google it. <laughs> Google it. Hey, it's um, a verb, man. You gotta you gotta keep up with the times. So I know by the time that we finish with this one, uh, where the coastal regions are by the time we come back from the break. But uh, this one is done. The Sally Sports here, eight to zero. Up over St. John Bosco, Fear Classic to stop moving. I don't think it makes much of a difference anyway. Uh, the ninth goal scored 
one for the road just to rub the salt in the wound here. Nine to zero for Los Sal Esports as they make their way through as the representatives of California. Uh, yeah, not much to break down in this series. Uh, kind of a slamming. Uh, listen. St. John Bosco High School. Uh, unfortunately, again, we don't know the situation with Babs. We hope he's all good. We hope that, you know, it, or, or, I'm sure they would love to have another crack at this series and, and tech issues aside for him. Maybe they have a better chance, but it just seemed like Walrus and, and, and Kiwi were just ahead of everyone else. Um, I mean, look at it. Four goals, five goals, five of seven. Like it, This one was done, and, mm -hmm. and they just ran into a better team. Welcome to the greatest strat of all time. It just is what it is. Yep, absolutely. Uh, really well played there from Los Al Esports. They uh, tweet the series 4 to 0, yep. and they are now going to be going through to the final day of play. Uh, Los Amatos. Uh, Los Alamatos. I am going to try. Alamitos. I cannot. What is wrong with me? I can't okay. do English today. It's crazy. Alamitos. Anyway. Yeah, do you know what? Whatever. Anyway, anyway, that's the series. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, 4 0 sweep. We kind of expected it after game two at this moment, but uh, we've gone through seven best of sevens today. We've yeah. gone to game sevens many times, but our last match of the day is the coastal region. It's West Valley versus West Aldridge. I believe I said that right. I'm going to scroll up real quick. Let me find out I real quick. Yes, I Anchorage. <laughs> it's been a lot of matches. West Anchorage versus West Valley High School. That's our final matchup. Brody, we have one more best of seven before we throw it to a break. What has been your favorite matchup today? I think mine has been the Colorado seven game series. I mean, that if was... I look, if I look for my notes, yeah, yeah, I, I think you you wouldn't be incorrect to say that was my favorite game today. It was nice. really closely played. I had absolutely no idea who was going to win uh, going into I game don't seven. So that's that's uh, up to the chat to figure out. They have to vote mm -hmm. on that. So uh, yeah, let's throw it to a break. When we come back, it's the last match of the play versus twenty twenty high school fall championship qualifier round. Tomorrow is the championship. Let's get into a break.